Hello and welcome to another Maximum Power Up video. Uh, today I've got a bit of a pickup video. Now I've had a very couple of busy days in regards to adding a few retro things to my collection. Um, but before I do get onto that, I just want to say a massive thank you to anyone who's downloaded our latest episode uh, all about um, our thoughts on E3. Um, it's obviously been like one of our quickest downloaded episodes, which you know, really, really grateful for. We had a load of fun recording it, and we had a uh, Tom from the Dreamcast Junkyard um, website and the Dream Pod podcast uh, on as a guest. So, um, now it's obviously starting to plan for episode six, which hopefully we'll uh, try and get recorded this week, and then hopefully in the next week and a half, have it uh, up to download. Um, because again, I had another couple of um, iTunes reviews, so that's you know really good to see and everything. And you know, it's, I know we keep asking, but it really does help, you know, get noticed. Anyway, uh, first thing that I want to uh, show really is last night, uh, one of uh, mates who used to work with, he's well, giving me a load of magazines. Um, he was just going to be chucking them. I've only got a few here in my hand, but it's all the like, original uh, PlayStation magazines. Not every issue. Um, I think we start at issue 29 and go up to, looking at a pile, that's 62. So there's quite a few there, and then a few for the um, PlayStation 2 magazines as well. So, the earliest one though that it's given me is this one here. Uh, so, we've got Cool Borders 2 on the cover. Um, I've not seen any of these magazines for absolutely ages. And you have a quick look through, and it's stuff like Resident Evil 2, um, First Gran Turismo. Uh, this one I was surprised about having this on a cover, Free Lions game, which I think it was okay. Uh, and then we've got Spire of the Dragon. Um, let's just see what else we have got. Revealed the game in 1998, Metal Gear Solid. Uh, I think a lot of people probably agree with that. Obviously it's still held in very high esteem. And then we've got Tekken 3, is it? Yeah, well, because we have a Tekken 3 demo, obviously the cover discs out with them. But it's going to just be good, you know, looking through those again. Um, I've not seen them, like say, for a very long time. So, uh, just relive a few of the old stories, uh, look through some of the reviews again. And anyway, uh, as well as that, I did a couple of um, Nintendo Magazine System magazines, because I'm still trying to get the first uh, 55, um, which, so I'll just move the camera slightly, um, I'm trying to get like the first 55, which really covers the Super Nintendo era. Um, so the last count, I think I needed, it was about 23, 24, roughly. Um, so I've had a few more, so we've got like one from there, I think it was like January 1994, on the back, Syndicate on the SNES. Um, I've also got um, a couple of them are a bit tatty, sadly. Uh, R-Type 3, uh, a game that I do want, uh, well, that I will have to eventually get, because it's in the Super Play Top 100. That is something I'm going to get onto in a moment. And then we've also got uh, issue 12 here, um, with, well, it's a fixer cover. We've got uh, some tips and moves for Mortal Kombat. Um, it's quite annoying how he's actually ripped it that way, but anyway, it's good to obviously like look back and, as you know, I'm a massive fan of um, the old magazines, so I've got quite a lot of reading to be uh, doing soon. But it's not just reading, it's also playing games. Now, first one that I mentioned is, moving on to marking, what, uh, four, five, six, seven... Well, marking, yeah, seven different titles off my Superplay Top 100 um, want list. Uh, now I've got it down to 41. So, you know, getting there, 59% done. Now, I want to give a shout out to uh, Ali, the Retro Hunter, for starting me out with this. Front Mission on the Super Nintendo. And 
it's a Japanese release because it only came out in Japan, done by Squaresoft. And when I saw that this was in the list, I was like, oh god, I'm not going to be able to play it, I'm not going to be able to read it, understand it. But what I have been told and seen in a review of it, there's a lot of English text in regards to, um, you know, the menus and everything like that. So it is something that will be able to be played. So we've got these, I love these little Japanese instruction books and again the cartridge still in its bag and everything so massive massive thank you there to uh, Ali the Retro Hunter um, when I spoke to him at Play Blackpool he offered to help me on my list and yeah he has done with that definitely now next up uh, I've got like another really really good friend who is well was filling down his collection a little bit and I was saying there's quite a few games that need uh, in my collection that you've got so we agreed a deal and you know I'll, I'll just keep uh, paying what I owe um, but it's, anyway let me leave with seven very rare in good condition games now first one in row I've got it cart only on NTSC so I will need to get rid of that now managed to upgrade it to Castlevania on PAL boxed. Um, all these I've put in the um, box protectors. It's a little bit worn and very very slight bit of damage there but nothing too bad and all the flaps are in very good condition. Um, so inside there we have the cart and we've got the instruction manual. Again really really good condition it's just like I say just a bit of wear and tear there to the box sadly now I'm just going to quickly close that one up I mean Castlevania 4 is a great game absolutely fantastic music uh, mind you if you're watching this you've probably got an idea of what to expect from Castlevania but it really is brilliant I've been trying to get into uh, Vampire's Kiss recently on the JSD and really really struggles but Castlevania 4 is great now Moving on to a couple of us, um, we have got Breath of Fire and also Breath of Fire 2. Um, Breath of Fire, the first one on NTSC. Just quickly open this up. Now, this is almost brand new condition, um, it's absolutely mint. Uh, I remember when he got like all these these games in this lot and a lot were you know scarce RPGs and I was like so jealous then and now I'm just so happy and finally got them in the collection so we've got the American cartridge in its bag we've got the instruction manual we've also got the da, 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 just open this up uh, monster sheet and we've also got Everything opened up. Also got the map as well, and there's more stuff on both sides. So that obviously comes complete, and it's obviously quite hard to get now. So it's one of the ones that I can obviously tick off. Let's quickly put that away. I'll put it back in my sleeve properly later, and then we've got. Breath of Fire 2, which is on PAL. Uh, just, just quickly pull that out. Box slightly more worn on this one. Um, still not in terrible condition, just like a little bit battered on the corners. Um, but then again, we've got the cartridge. And then again, we've got... I've not even had a proper look at these since uh, getting them on Thursday night. I've got the instruction manual and then we've also got the map as well so again all complete just quickly put my little cart down there now just moving on just to the next view oh, just quickly bring them up we've got uh, mystical ninja now 
I remember playing this years ago. I played it for a very long time. It's one that I did own. Um, so I'm looking forward to actually playing this again. Again, just like slightly worn, but not terrible at all. You know, probably like you know, rated maybe seven out of ten, something like that. Um, let's quickly open that up. Like I say, all the flaps are still intact and everything. And then we've got the manual. Alright, oh, slightly worn, but all still in a, you know, one piece and a cartridge there. Um, again, it's supposed to be like one of those games that are fairly highly rated for Super Nintendo. I'm sure when I owned it when I was a kid, I had it on like Japanese, but I can't remember if it's one of those which you can just struggle through, you know, and uh, really pick up easy enough, or you do need to get it in the um, NTSC. Uh, anyway, moving on, we've now got Super Metroid. Now, I know obviously with the PAL one you can get the uh, big box with the player's guide, um, and that's something where I was on an hour in. But I decided to go for this so it fits on the shelf, and here we have it. Again, in very, very good condition. Um, well, so, just to open this, we've got. Well, I'll try and be quick, otherwise it's going to turn into a half hour video of me showing games. Um, so we've got the cartridge, still in its bag. We've got uh, a book poster for Nintendo. We've also got the warranty card. Uh, a little um, mini player's card, is it? Oh no, it's uh, an advertisement for Club Nintendo. And then finally we've got instruction manual so again all that's in really really good condition we're talking like you know brand new condition you know what you'd expect if you bought it nowadays really um just pop that down there and then next up we have got again one that does cost a lot it is super bomberman 3 now all three of them are in the super play top onward so again not bad condition you know, a little bit of wear and tear, but nothing major, really. Um, so, Bomberman, great game to play with your mates. There we are, cartridge. And then we've got the instruction manual as well. So, obviously, happy to get that. I've never actually played number three. It was always one and two that um, I spent my time on, you know, like as a kid. And then finally, we've got Final Fantasy III. One that um, wanted quite a lot. I saw it at NERG uh, last month. I was very, very tempted to spend like £100 on that, but I didn't. So, Final Fantasy III, again, really good condition. Um, here we've got the cartridge. Um, tell you what we'll do. Ugh. Spare. Um, you know, dust protector, so quickly match that up. And we've also got the instruction manual, slight wear and tear, but nothing too bad. So basically, those have been my week's pickups, some very, very good ones. I was hoping to go to a local retro shop today and get a few bits, but I thought I better not. I've spent far too much money. Um, however, now I have got the, well, the top 10 of the Super Play, top 100, but like I say, I've still got 41 to get. So I'm going to see where I'm at, well, this time next year. Hopefully I've got that down to, like, you know, about 10 or something. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, again, keep listening to the show. If you haven't already, leave us an iTunes review. Um, I'm just happy, though. I love seeing, obviously, the downloads going up, um, getting tweets and everything like that. And, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks a lot. Bye.